This is an NBC5 News exclusive. They put their lives on the line when people need help. But some firefighters in a South Suburban community are raising concerns about the money that is supposed to be spent on their retirement and health care benefits. NBC5's Regina Waldrop spoke with one firefighter in Dalton who's now demanding answers. The ongoing saga in Dalton now spilling over into the fire department. Well, when the mayor first started to run in 2021, we did endorse her. Um, and then everything went sideways. Adam Farrick has been a firefighter in the village for 10 years. He's also a union rep for Local 3766. We have a ton of concerns. Uh, Most revolve around financial issues. These are some of the grievances the union has filed against the village. Farrick claims many of the village's 21 firefighters don't want to speak out for fear of retaliation. And there's always that scare of retaliation of what's going to happen if, if you know, we don't beat to their drum. Farrick claims money taken out of their checks for a retirement plan not going where it should. I pick uh, the amount that I would like with taken out of my check and then that money is supposed to go to Nationwide. It has not been happening. He also claims firefighters are having issues with health insurance, which the village pays for. These are some of the documents shared with NBC5 that say premiums have not been received. Members are getting claims denied and we did file agreements over that as well. Trustee Brittany Norwood tells us these issues are very concerning. It's very sad. Um, it's sad because for the last three years, um, my colleagues on the board and I have been questioning how the money is being spent. We've been fighting for transparency so that we can have the answers to these financials. Firefighters say they've been working without a contract going on five years, and they claim the village is refusing to sit down and negotiate. We all come here because we, we love this place. But you just wish... I wish that the upper administration could get it together and do the right thing. The Henyard administration did not respond to our requests for a statement. In Dalton, I'm Regina Waldrop, NBC5 News. Good evening, ladies, gentlemen, and all you other delightful sinners out there. It's your old pal Lucifer here, coming to you live from the hottest place around. And I'm not talking about that new nightclub downtown. <laughs> I'm here to chat about one of my favorite humans, a true inspiration to corrupt politicians everywhere. The mayor of Dalton, Tiffany Henyard. Allegedly, she has stolen money from the fire department's retirement and healthcare benefits fund. The firefighters, have medical claims that are being denied because the premiums have not been received. Now, you might be thinking, Devil! That's terrible! How could she steal from firefighters? Well, my dear sinners, that's what makes it so beautifully wicked. It's like stealing candy from a baby! if the baby were responsible for saving lives and property. <laughs> but here's where it really gets juicy. Our dear Mayor Henyard didn't just stuff the cash under her mattress like some amateur embezzler. Oh no! She spent it on fancy dinners, lavish trips, turning the police department into her own private personal security detail, and best of all, she used taxpayer funds on a personal makeup artist and hair weave. But here's the kicker. When confronted about her extravagant spending and the missing fire department funds, Mayor Henyard had the sheer, beautiful, corrupt audacity to claim it was all for the good of the city. She was helping the local economy. It's just that her definition of the local economy does not expand past her own pockets. <laughs> oh, the mental gymnastics. The sheer audacity. The utter disregard for basic human decency. Oh, it brings a tear to my eye. In all my millennia of tempting humans into sin, 
I've rarely seen someone embrace corruption with such gusto. Mayor Henyard isn't just dipping her toes into the waters of depravity. No, she's doing a cannonball into the deep end of the cesspool. <laughs> so here's to you, Mayor Tiffany Henyard. You've made this old devil proud. And to all you aspiring corrupt politicians out there, remember, aim high, dream big, and never let a little thing like ethics get in the way of a good hair day. After all, if you're going to hell, you might as well look fabulous doing it. <laughs>